Hello and welcome to RuneScape and my Road to Max series. Uh, so in this episode I get 99 Hunter, which went very quickly. Um, I think I gained 3 levels in 2 days, or something like that. I gained about 3 million XP in a single day. Uh, 1,200 uh, protein traps on the Gren walls when I had a bunch of uh, tickets saved up. And it was very quick XP. Then it slowed down a lot, um, massively in fact, um, so I ended up going to Skill Chompers to get 99, uh, fairly slow, uh, but it made some money I guess. Um, so at the end of uh, the clips of the Hunter XP, um, I sell a bunch of it, I sell what I got and see how much money I made. Uh, which leaves, well, if Invention hadn't come out, I would now be maxed, um, so that's quite nice. Um, so I was going to go and get 115 Dungeoneering, which I do get, uh, but I was waiting on some friends to go and do Dungeoneering with them. Uh, so in the meantime, which is why the video is taking a bit longer, or quite a lot longer than expected, um, so I've been training Invention instead. Uh, so I think I was 42 um, when I started, and I've got the clips of me disassembling uh, weapons and armor once I've got them leveled up to level 10. Uh, and I usually get about 5 levels each time. Uh, I'm training at Frost Dragons. Uh, I should hopefully make more money than I spend on Invention just because Frost are really good money. But then at the same time, Invention is so expensive. Uh, and I worked out that to get 99 Invention, I will have made. 280 million from Frost Dragon Bones. Uh, that's just the Frost Dragon Bones. That's not any other drops, and that's not how much I'm spending on the actual skill. So it'll maybe halved or something like that. But it's still a decent amount of money. Um, so yeah, I, I get to 60 something um, before my brother returned, and I got went for dungeoneering. Um, in the end, I only that it took me a day to go and get from halfway from 114 to 115 so it didn't take me long um, just before I got the um, 115 dungeon engineering I did go and get 103 attack uh, but I don't usually record those things because they're virtual levels and I, I don't see much point in virtual levels uh, they're a personal achievement I don't think they're something that um, should be focused on in any sort of way um, so yeah invention uh, this it's going to take me a while, uh, instead of being 13.3 million to get a 99, it is 35 million XP to get 99 invention. Uh, I do go and get 1.5 million per disassembly s slot thing, uh, but that's still going to take a while because that's at least that's about three trips at Frost Dragons, and that each trip is about an hour and a half to two hours long. Um, so yeah, it's going to take me a while. Uh, and I may struggle with it, um, but this is basically the last Road to Max video um, until I get 99 and Max. Um, there will be a video beforehand when I've worked out when I'm going to Max, uh, so that I can sort of create an event, make a sort of party thing, do some sort of giveaway thing. I've not really decided yet, I've got plenty of time to think about it to be honest, uh, but there will be some sort of thing. Uh, where friends and people who watch videos and that kind of stuff. Um, so look out for that. I'm gonna try and aim for bef toward the end of August to go and max. Uh, I'm still looking for a job though, so see where things go with that. Um, but yeah, 99 everything apart from invention. It's made made dungeoneering very easy because I can do any skill door now. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope to see you all when I do max. Uh, any tips for invention would be appreciated. It's very expensive currently. I'm doing Bando Sama and Karasi Swords um, and then dis disassembling them uh, and training at Frost Trains, like I said. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.